Hi everyone, it's Erin from EB Mixed Media. I'm back again today working in my graph paper uh, notebook journal and I am feeling the fall feels today. So I've got some um, tissue paper and some oranges. Um, there's a little bit of purple in here and some yellows. And I've got some, they're kind of a silk um, leaf, leaves that I thought maybe I could incorporate into um, this spread. And I've also got some stamps that came in a kit, so I can't tell you where they came from, but there's some cute leaves and acorns here as well, and pumpkins that I might use. So that's, that's what I'm working with today, um, and that's all I know right now. So let's get started. And I think I want to put this down, but I don't think I want it just like that necessarily. Do I? Maybe I do. Could I just do something like that for starters? start with this because so I think it will show through under the tissue paper and that could be a nice effect. So we'll just put a few of these pieces down and let's see. Yeah. matter. I think a lot of people that are new to mixed media sometimes wonder why uh, we put all this stuff down and then just cover it up and it seems to have no purpose, but it really does add to the piece, add to all the layering, adds to the depth of the piece and gets you to that final stage that, that looks good. Um, and so it, it seems sort of strange that we do that, but um, there's a method to the madness for sure. All right, I'm trying to decide how I want to put down this, um, I'm gonna use this matte medium. I'm debating about whether I want to tear this, and I feel like I do. I don't like all the straight edges. So I'm just gonna tear it kind of like so. Get rid of those straight edges there and put it down. Let's see. This is Liquitex Matte Medium. I just, I, I see people using brushes and I wreck my brushes. I, even though I throw them right into water, maybe I wait too long to really clean them or I'm not cleaning them with some sort of solution. I don't know but I just find I wreck my brushes when I use a brush to put this matte medium on. So I'm not sure what I should use. Oh, I think there was some gesso in that. This might reactivate, I don't know. I forget what I used to make these. <laughs> oh, it is. That's okay, it is though. I don't remember what I used to make these. I'll just use my fingers. <laughs> I feel like I can be most gentle that way as well. Oh, there's a load of that. We'll see. Ugh. I 
Okay. Let me get the dryer out and dry that. All right, let's add a little gesso here, just to, as I always do. <laughs> just to kind of tie things together a bit. Not too much on this one. And now, um, I want to go with some different kind of fall colors. And I've got bubblegum pink, and this is quinacridone violet from Golden, bubblegum pink from Dilutions. And uh, I'm just going to try some of this. Bear with me while I test this out. But I think it could look pretty cool. I won't use very much. We'll just experiment a little. This is really a pretty color though. And there is like a little bit of purple there, but oh, look at that with the orange. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I love that. Oh, oh my God, I love that color. Oh, with the orange to die for. I got out of this. Oh my gosh, I love that color. Wow. What about the pink? I think that's okay too to have a little bit of that in there. Not too much though. Um, I'm gonna tone that down. This is apricot, it's from Apple Barrel, which is just a craft paint, inexpensive craft paint. Craft paint. Ooh, that's kind of getting me some mud, but I don't know, it's almost a taupe. I don't like that. I'll try to pick that back up. Hmm, All right, let me just try the apricot. Or can I get, can I get a peach? Yeah, that's a little better. some of this out with some white. I can't decide about that pink. I don't hate it. But I think it maybe needs to be a little more subtle. And that's the nice thing about a wet wipe. See how you can Push that back a bit and take it down. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick try. This is Craftsmart. This was from Michaels. It's called Mustard Yellow, and this is kind of their apple barrel brand, I guess. Uh, very inexpensive. And I'm gonna just do some stenciling here. Just again to add some more interest. It's pretty subtle and that's good. And that was really gloppy there, but that's okay. I don't think I shook this up enough. There. I find this stuff to be a little runnier than the apple barrel. I don't know if I like it as well. 
I like this color though. It looks kind of golden. That's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. I might do just a tad of white as well. I love that stencil. This is also, I'm pretty sure, from Stencil Girl. And it's fast becoming one of my most favorite stencils. Yeah. Oh, cool. Very cool. All right, now let's take a look at these leaves. I've got these leaves and I recently picked up some embossing powder and um, this is a watermark stamp pad which you use for embossing. I think, I think I got the right thing. <laughs> I've never done this before or well, I've done it a few times. So let's try it. So I've got this cute little maple stamp here. Where should I put it? Let's put it here where we can maybe see it. I'm just gonna do one. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can see it. It's there. I can barely make it out. You can barely see it. It's there. Before that dries then, I need to take this and sprinkle it where I think it is, right? I just wanna do one and see how it looks before I go, whoa, too much further. And there you can see it. I don't think I really got a lot there, I'm not sure. Let me move this aside. And now I actually have a heat tool I'm gonna pull out. I think you can do it with a blow dryer, but I think the heat tool will be faster and I'm super impatient. So let's give this a shot. You can see it like glistening. <gasps> it's like melting. Is that enough? Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let's do a few more of those. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay. I should probably just do maybe five. That one works because it was kind of lumpy right there. All right. I can't see where they were. Where was the other one? Was it up there? I think that's where it was. Yep. And then you can take this and reuse it. Whoop. If you don't spill it all over the place. There. Okay. Looks like there's some extra. All right, let's try it. This gets hot really fast. I think I melted it too much. <laughs> I think I melted that one too much. 
Oh, well, they really look pretty. Can you see them? This one looks nice. They look really pretty. Okay. Yeah, that one looks like a big puddle of goods. I think I did it too hot. Oh, I think that's pretty. Okay. Now, before I go too much further, I want to do some gold splatters with my gold ink. This is FW Dollar Rowney Gold uh, Acrylic Ink. Can you have too much gold? I don't think so. All right. Now what? Do I want to put one of these leaves on here? I kind of don't know if I do. I think maybe I will just do the one. And then I've got a sentiment here that says, there's nothing like a dream to create the future, which I just think is a beautiful thought. I love that idea. So if I were to put that up here, maybe, I won't press that down yet. I don't know if that's going to stick there. And then put that there. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I don't know. We'll try this with just a glue stick and see if it works. I'm going to have to do something with that too. I think it's not sticking because of the I might just take a pen this is going to look weird Feels like it's sticking. But I am going to trim it. There we go. There's my homage to fall. <laughs> Just a little bit of a different fall color palette. I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun with it. Um, it was fun to use the um, embossing powders. Um, I did learn a lesson. I think I got a little too hot right there. Uh, but anyway, it worked out. It's cute. Um, that's all I have for today. I'll be back again soon. And you can find me on Instagram as always. That's EB Mixed Media, EB underscore Mixed Media. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks. Bye.